Hello, and welcome to Solimer. Today, we're going to show you our method to achieving our 9-10% lab cells using the polymer PFF-BT4T2OD in an inverted device architecture. First, we make our solution. The solution is comprised of one part polymer and 1.4 parts acceptor, in this case, PCBMC70. The solution is dissolved in dichlorobenzene and chlorobenzene at a 1 to 1 ratio. The vial is then placed on a hot plate to dissolve at a temperature slightly higher than 100 degrees Celsius. Diiodyl octane is later added after the solution has completely dissolved. Next, a UV ozone treatment is carried out on the patterned ITO substrates for about 10 minutes. After this, an electron transport layer is coated onto the substrates which are then thermally annealed on a hot plate. Next, it's time for active layer coating. The substrates are placed on the hot plate for about 15 minutes. The heat allows for uniformity of the active layer on the substrate. The solution is dropped onto the substrate and is spun at 1600 RPM for around 20 seconds. After coating, the devices are vacuum dry for an hour and annealed at 100 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Next, the devices are loaded into the THEV chamber where the HTL and an aluminum electrode are deposited onto the surface. The last step of this process is testing the device. A photo mask is used to ensure accurate device area during the illuminated current voltage measurement. We hope this instructional video is helpful to your research. Thank you for watching.